605 now time for your morning rush more news in less time this morning. A man is recovering from life threatening injuries after a shooting in Spokane Valley. Police received a call Sunday afternoon of a man who had been shot near North Pines Road and East Sprague. According to police, a man and woman got into an altercation with the man in the Walgreens parking lot. The man and woman are currently detained, but police say the victim is not cooperating. Anyone who has any information about the incident is asked to call Crime Check at the number on your screen. Spokane police have released body camera footage of the fire at St. Charles Parish. The video you can see on your screen right now shows the moments just after they responded to and the responding officer rather woke up the priest who lives on campus. That priest had just come back from visiting family in Argentina and he had slept through the fire alarms. SPD Major Crimes Unit is now investigating the fire as a possible arson. The church did remain closed for mass this weekend and the school suffered extensive damage. The school was canceled on Thursday and Friday. And the school does say they're in touch with parents about what the future looks like for students. A Washington State Patrol trooper is recovering this morning after being struck by a pickup truck over the weekend. Take a look at this scene right now as the trooper responded to an abandoned vehicle facing the wrong direction when the incident happened. The trooper suffered injuries to his neck, back and ankle, and it happened on Snoqualmie Pass on Sunday morning. The driver of the pickup has an arm injury as well, but WashDOT has not released a cause of the crash. The deadline to remove studded tires is coming up fast as Washington DOT says all studded tires must be removed by the end of the day, March 31st. Then starting April 1st, drivers with studded tires could face a fine of $136. WashDOT is not extending the studded tire deadline this year, but crews will continue to monitor roads and will work to clear any late season snow or ice. A new playground at Riverfront Park is opening this spring. We're getting some of the pictures right now from Riverfront's Instagram page, and the theme of the playground is Ice Age Floods, since they're responsible for sculpting the unique geography throughout our region. Riverfront Park says the goal of the playground is to create an exciting, safe, and dynamic place for kids to play. That's your morning rush. More news in less time. Let us know what's happening in your neighborhood by using the hashtag UpWithCrem on social media.